Hey, Don Thornton again. Let's talk about USDA homes foreclosures. A lot of people don't realize that these exist, and there's a reason why. It's because, uh, you know, uh, there's not a huge amount of them, but there are some, and it's important. I want to teach you what they're, what they're, what, what's out there. One thing that uh, people have a lot of misconceptions about Florida. Uh, people don't realize that Florida is such a diverse state with I mean, not in the sense of, of um, nature, because let's face it, it mostly just it's it's beaches, it's swamp, it's pine forest, it's cattle, you know, and you've got on the coast you have where most of the development is. You get into the peninsula, I mean, you get into the, in the heartland of Florida, and there's a lot of very rural areas and a lot of agriculture and so forth. And so um, it is very, it's possible to get a USDA, United States Department of Agriculture loan pretty, e I mean, I don't say easily, but a lot of people in Florida, even, I guess what I'm trying to say is that even in uh, you know, large popula populated areas, it's still possible that you can find a house that is still in a territory where USDA loans are available, that you can buy a, a house that's guaranteed by the Department of Agriculture uh, and still be relatively near a, a populated place. So it's not, it doesn't mean that you're going to be out, you know, in, um, I don't know, Harding County in, in South Central Florida, where, you know, you're, you know, you can, um, it's not just trailers and chicken coops and so on and so forth, you know, you can actually buy a, a nice house with USDA. Why do people use USDA uh, loans? Because they're 100% financing. So you only have really two ways of getting a USDA, I mean, 100% financing. You can do, uh, if you're a veteran, you can go, you can go um, get a VA loan or you can get, you do a USDA. So they're actually pretty popular in uh, the state of Florida. In fact, you know, my, uh, my assistant is, um, you know, she, uh, her husband works in, uh, for a, um, in fact, he was on one of my podcasts. His name's Randy Dutch. Um, you know, he works for a company, uh, outside of Tampa, but they live, uh, in Lakeland near Mulberry, which is a very rural area. So they're looking at lots of different, um, uh, houses that they can buy with the, with the USDA financing, because like you said, it's, it's a hundred percent. So just like anything else, anytime someone gets a mortgage, they often, you know, often, but, you know, let's face it, I mean, a certain percentage are going to not be able to make their payments and they're going to lose it to foreclosure auction. So in the same way that an FHA mortgage, if it's defaulted on and it goes to foreclosure auction, because the Department of Homeland, excuse me, the Department of Housing and Urban Development guarantees the loan to the bank, ultimately they're the ones that are going to own the property. So let's say, for example, if... Um, I don't know, say Freedom Mortgage. I mean, I'm just throwing something out there, right? So if Freedom Mortgage is a servicing company, um, but the actual owner or the, the guarantor is the Department of, uh, of uh, Housing and Urban Development, then when it goes to foreclosure auction, then Freedom Mortgage is not going to own that property. It's going to be HUD. And then HUD has their own system. I did a video about this. You can look at it in my YouTube channel here and you can check it out. But that's what um, then it becomes a HUD home. The same principle applies for USDA loans. OK, so you can go to this website. And you can see um, what's available. Now, they have single family, they have multifamily, they have farm and ranch. So you can you can bid on any of these. So the as far as single family goes, it's interesting because you know right now you, you get this map. So if we're going to click on Florida, you would just click there and see just see what's available. Okay. And oh, I gotta click search one second here. Search. And then these are the ones that are out there. Okay. So uh, you can see Lakeland, Quincy, Lakeland, Polk City, Polk City, Ponce de Leon, Lakeland, Groveland. Okay, so Lakeland's not that far away from, from Tampa. Groveland's right there. So, I mean, let's just check it out. You know, let's just go over here and check this out and see what it is. So you've got, you know, a decent house, uh, as is condi uh, condition. It's a ranch, um, so on and so forth. And it's, uh, um, you know, it's going up for auction. So these are generally sold by... Uh, just, you know, auction at a, at a certain location, okay? So that's different than HUD. HUD does it pretty much online, 
uh, this one they're doing they're going to just do an auction. Okay, so you you know if you have the money, you can go there and bid on it. Now the problem you're going to have is this. Let's go back here to um, let's go back up to um, just a second. Sorry about that. Let's just go back over to. Um, you know, there's only eight properties. So in the state of Florida right now, you can only buy uh, eight USDA properties, single family. All right. So let's go, let's check out multifamily, see what's out there as well. So again, you got to go through the map, click on Florida. Oh, sorry. I click search. My fault. Hold on. Let me move my thing. Search. Oh, I got to click Florida and then search. Come on. Oh, a state required. Oh, I was clicking a state, you stupid idiots. Um, oh, there's only one. There's only one. There's nothing in Florida. So there's only one in Mississippi, believe it or not. So let's just go there and click there anyway just to see what's going on. So right now, USDA has one property. It's a, it's a multifamily in Mississippi. So you can see that there's not a huge amount of these. Let's look at farm and ranch. Okay. Farm and Ranch, let's try to do Florida. Uh, see what's there. State is required. It's not letting me do a state here. Okay, so there's nothing. Florida is not listed. There's nothing in Florida. So if you wanted to buy a ranch in Oklahoma, you could click on that, and this is what would come up. Okay, so you see these these ones. Let's just look at details. No photos available. Um, you know, so on and so forth. So not a huge thing. Um, my purpose of showing you this is just to give you another example of what's out there. Obviously, you would need to have your money lined up to be able to bid on it. Uh, you got to pay for it up front and so on and so forth. And there's only eight out there. So, you know, I would say that, you know, there's less, there's less uh, competition, I'm sure, from investors, but there's also less out there. So, you know, you make your decision about whether you think that's that's something you, you would worth your time or not. I personally don't think it is, but my job is to educate you and show you what's out there and give you my opinion about it. So hopefully this was uh, a value for you and I'll see you in my next video.